we must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one. Drugs are menacing our society. They're threatening our values and undercutting our institutions. There's a great need for treatments. The current medications only work partially. The powers that be have held that they're still illegal. The government does not allow this research to take place, and then they say, well, there's no research that shows it. It's beyond hypocrisy. It's not that they don't want you to be on drugs. They want you to be on drugs. They just want you to be on corporate drugs. This morning, the Drug Enforcement Administration is announcing its intention to place the drug MDMA under emergency controls in Schedule 1. The need is growing for psychedelic medicines. The only way you're really going to understand it is to do clinical research. We fund studies on harm. We don't fund studies on benefit. It gives a distorted picture. So then they find out drugs that are prohibited actually work much better than the pharmaceutical drugs. I was diagnosed to have terminal cancer. It has allowed allowed me to open up and have communication with my family that I have never been able to have before. But because of government regulations, we're denying major aspects of our population access to medicines that they dearly need. The critics would always say, don't take these drugs because they're going to change your life forever. What they didn't understand is that was the entire point. You do see out of the box with LSD, past culturally imposed values. You get the insight, and if then you are serious, you can start to work with that insight, but first the door has to open. Not only would these drugs have the potential to be useful in psychotherapy, but that they had the potential to be useful in the evolution of the human species, and that they could make a major contribution to the survival of the planet.